CataractCoach.com. Here's a video of me doing surgery 14 years ago, and I think I'm making one big mistake. All right, let's watch this video of me operating 14 years ago. You see the date, August 2006, starting off the case. Here's a fixation ring, a diamond being used to make a paracentesis. That's pretty typical. It looks like a pretty reasonable cataract, not too dense. Here's the dispersive viscoelastic, good fill of the anterior chamber, I like that. And now time for the main incision. So similar instruments to what I use now. There's a diamond, a little bit larger than we're using in modern day surgery. That's about a three millimeter wide incision. Architecture looks good, good tunnel length, good balance of the, the roof and the floor of the incision. Here are the forceps, let's create that rexus. Poking in with the forcep tips, these are marked off at two and a half and five millimeters like we use now. And let's start the rexus, good job pivoting and floating in the incision, not hitting the sides, that looks pretty reasonable. Rexus looks a little bit on the big side, probably about a six millimeter caps rexus. And I don't think I've measured it. So I, did, I had the forceps, but I didn't do the measurement there. Here's the hydro dissection, which is gonna be pretty typical. And this nucleus with moderate nuclear density is prolapsed partially out of the capsular bag. Now normally now, I'd recoat the endothelium with viscoelastic to protect it. But you'll see in this video, we don't do that. So that's a step that could be improved. There's the phaco tip, larger bore than we use now. That's a larger three millimeter tip. And then the nucleus can be chopped into two halves and each half can be emulsified rather uh, easily. We're using a lower vacuum. You see the maximum vacuum is only 250 millimeters of mercury. And with a larger bore, you can use a lower vacuum. Flow is quite high, 50 cc's per minute of flow. And correspondingly, a very high bottle height to allow the fluid in to match the outflow. And then there's the chopper in the safe position. So things look pretty good. So for a video that's 14 years old, it looks quite reasonable. This older FACO machine is no longer being made. And you can see with the power modulations, very little FACO energy was placed inside the eye. And so the patient will certainly have a clear cornea the next day. You can see that is certainly a wider incision than we're used to doing now. Cortex removal, now using in the old days these larger uh, bore uh, instruments like this one. And cleaning up the capsule, doing a little capsule polishing, and looks pretty reasonable. Now the microscope view here is not as good as we have today. Today we have a much stronger red reflex. Also the video, there's a standard definition. In the modern era we use high definition videos. Here's the viscoelastic filling up the capsule bag. A few bubbles there in the viscoelastic. Looks like using uh, HPMC, hydroxyl cellulose, as the viscoelastic. Now there should probably flip that around to the chopper side to get a good grip here. And a three-piece lens is being placed in the caps or bag. So case is going pretty reasonable, and I don't have too much fault with this case. Even now, 14 years later, the stands up is a pretty good case. But there's one thing I think we ought to definitely change, and that's the surgeon mentality and focus. I was, 15 years ago, more concerned with being a quicker or faster surgeon. Ooh, we don't like that. Speed is not important. It's much more important to be a good, safe, clean, meticulous surgeon. Certainly be efficient, but speed is not part of the equation. Case looks great. Everything goes beautifully. I'm happy to say the patient had a nice outcome. And I'm happy to say that we evolved our surgical techniques. So now we spend more time. Instead of a three and a half minute video, I'd rather produce a five minute video showing a little bit extra effort taken to make the surgery as perfect as possible. Remember, I don't compete against the clock. I compete against myself. I want to do a better surgery now than I did yesterday, last month, or the year ago. And every year, I want to get better and better. And I think in that regard, we've succeeded. Thanks for watching.